you want to go ahead. Are we missing half the class because they're in the tutorial? Yes. That yes. column fella. Oh, ditch the group tutorial, huh? Antagonistic. <laughs> we're, we're, we're missing exactly half the class because they are possibly in a tutorial. Yeah? No, they are. They are? Yeah, they are not biased. They have biased. Well... There's no, there's no point in starting knowing that in 30 seconds we're going to have a flood of people coming in. So we're just, we're forced to wait for them, unfortunately. So I'm going to ring Colin and see what the heck's the story. Uh, relax for a minute, okay? Right, do I hear So 400 each. And why won't she give you the deposit back? If you Did you sign something? Uh, well, even if you didn't sign anything, that doesn't mean she can keep the deposit. the best thing to do as soon as you find somewhere else to live if you want to move is just put a no no just put a give her about review what no 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 so just the important thing do you pay every month so as soon as you make as soon as you make one payment the next day you give her one month notice and if she doesn't give you the deposit back then it just means yeah we did like the day before she yeah. Yeah. We paid for the rent. 
And then we said, okay, we're going to do what we're going to do. Yeah. So, and then she, after that, she was still pressing us on the cleaning stuff. Ah, uh, it sounds like it's better if you move. Uh, so, did you give her the notes in writing? No. no, so put it, just put on a letter with a date. And do you have a receipt for paying the deposit? Yes. A written one though, like on a scrap paper. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. So as long as you have those two things, then she can keep the deposit. Now if she does keep the deposit, you can like there's a there's a group No, there's a there's a there's a land there's a what you call it like a uh, Yeah, that's it, the, this board. You can make a case. Uh, it'll like cost you whatever, like five euros or something, and then they'll contact her and eventually you'll get the deposit back. I suspect that as soon as, as soon as she gets a communication from them, she'll be like, okay, no messing about it, to give it back. So as long as you put the thing in right and, and you have that receipt, it's fine. Sorry about this. Is this everyone, are you, are you the back of the group or is there anyone behind you? In the end. Okay. They said last week, it won't happen again. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you mean it this time. No, no, no. What did you have before this class? Oh, that's hardly work, is it? You, you had to talk a lot. That must have been difficult for you. How did you manage? I don't know. Can you imagine me talking for like five minutes? Could you imagine? You were too. Let's see. That's everybody, isn't it? No, but I said we can please, sorry, I'll just take the attendance there. Oh, 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 ah, thank you. Okay, guys. Guys, we'll start now. I'll just take the attendance just to see who we've got here. So, uh, 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 Michelle, uh, was she in earlier? Or? She was? Which group was she in? Was she just with Colum or was she... She's with Colum, but she didn't. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, Michelle, we'll check now in a second. Uh, okay, uh, Abir, Here. awesome. Yeah. Celine, yeah. Sophia, yeah. Mubarak, Shadira, yeah. yeah. Mohanid. Oh, yeah, he's sick, isn't he, or something? Uh, Sabrina? Sabrina? The only one that is in the class now, which you attend. Uh, Moza? Here. Yeah. Angela? Yes. Ahmed? Yes. Safra? Yeah. Neil? No. Oh. Was she in earlier? No. Uh, Mahmoud? Yeah. Gafar? Amjad? Yeah. Zara? Zara? No, no, that's Safra. Uh, Zara? She's sick. She's sick? Okay. Mo? Yeah. Daniel? Yes. Savi? Yes. Savi? Yes. Yeah. Alfreda? Yeah. Uh, Aria? Yes. Yeah. Chidi? Yes. Young Peng? Yes. Amna? Yes. Mario. Yeah. So Mohanit Neil and Zara. Okay. When was the last time you had a class? Not even sure if I've ever oh. No, I, I did. Ah, <coughs> uh, it's not likely to happen. Oh sorry, Mo, sorry. I don't expect it to happen again for the rest of the year. Okay, we'll get started now. So what we're looking at in this lesson as integration of proper partial fractions. Uh, so that is integrating things that look like this. 
And the way we deal with this is what we've been doing the last few hours, which is first to write this as a partial fraction. So it means the first thing we have to do is to get the two factors here. So if you can take out your calculator, or maybe you can do it in your head, uh, the two factors here are what? So I think it's, it's 3x plus 2. X plus 2. Okay. Now, I think for this one, because it's, it's simple, we can just use the cover-up method, which is um, integrate something over 3x plus 2 plus integrating uh, something over x plus 2 dx. So if we go back, yeah, what do we cover up here? We cover up 3x plus 2 and put x as minus 2 over 3. Uh, so if you sub in minus 2 over 3, what do you get? Minus 9. Minus. Yeah, we'll just get a second confirmation. Yeah. I appreciate your choice. Yeah. Is it minus 9? Yeah. Okay. Why isn't this happening here? There we go. Minus 9. And then this one here, we'll have to cover up x plus 2 and sub in minus 2. And we get positive 3. Okay. So, uh, this one here is not too difficult. Ahmed and Amjad. I can see the two of you interacting. No, no, I don't want you talking when I'm talking, please, okay? I'm at my absolute limit now for this class. Absolute limit. Okay, now, I'll, I'll be really clear about something, okay? To me, it's important not to lie, to tell the truth. Okay, so I'm going to... No, no, listen, okay? Listen to what I'm about to say, okay? So I want to tell the class right now, this is a truthful statement, if I'm interrupted by someone, and I don't care who it is, Next time, I'll just ask them to leave. And that's a promise. Now, the fact that I've said that now means I have to carry it out because I wouldn't be true to myself. Okay? So if somebody's going to interrupt me now, I'm just going to ask you to leave because I'm at my absolute limit now. I've reached it. Because this stuff is difficult. You need your full attention. So, back to this integration now. <coughs> uh, the first thing I want to do is just take the 9 and the 3 outside to make it a little bit neater. So this is uh, minus 9 integrate 1 over 3x plus 2 dx plus 3 integrate 1 over x plus 2 dx. I've just split them into two, all right? Both of these integrations are in the formula book. If you don't remember the formula, I'll just throw it up the side here. So there's a formula in the formula book for integrating 1 over ax plus b. Amen. You remember it? Anyone remember it? Um, it's not a log, no, actually. It's log log well, it's definitely log ax plus b, yeah. I think what you're not remembering is what goes with this. Yeah, times what, though? No, no, this one. No, not a. One over a, yeah. One over a. Yeah. Don't worry if you forgot, because it's in the formula book. You can look it up. Yeah. So if I go back to the question now and apply that rule here. Okay. So this would be minus 9 times uh, 1 over 3 log 3x plus 2 plus 3 times 1 over 1 log x plus 2 plus c. Now, this is uh, minus 3 log 3x plus 2 plus 3 log x plus 2. Now, normally, unusually, you can stop there. However, sometimes in the exam, they say they want the answer in a certain form. Okay? So, I'm going to imagine that this question said to write the answer as uh, simply log of one thing, not log of two things. In other words, 
Uh, I'm imagining the question said, express the answer as a single log. So we have a problem here because we have two logs. Okay, but it's not too difficult to fix. Any ideas on what we can do here? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, what, what do we think of here? Yeah, we could put the tree as a power. In fact, I would kind of like to take the tree out first and deal with it later. So I'll take the tree out and put in log x plus 2. And I think what you were about to say is what I would do as my next step. Log 3x plus 2 plus c. And what's next? It's a fraction, yeah. So that's 3 log x plus 2 over 3x plus 2 plus c. And there's only really one thing left to do. Uh, not this tree, something to do with this one. Power. So, yeah, it's a cube there. So I've written the answer as a single log. Okay, single log. Okay. Hmm? Oh, you mean expand? With the with the cube, is it? No, no, no. Uh, uh, log three x plus two. Yeah. X plus two. Ah, uh, what rule are you using? I think you just made up a rule. Multiply. But there's no multiply here. No, it's divided. When you have uh, something plus something, you multiply them. But I don't have something plus something. Minus. I'm minus. No, no, four. But that's a plus and that's a minus. You're confusing me, I'm dead. You understand that this is the same as this, right? Yeah, but minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> but these guys are different. It's not minus 3x plus 3x. It's minus 3 of something plus 3 of something else. Yeah? We're good. We're more than good. Right. Write this one down. Uh, we'll have a look at another example here. Uh, yeah, let's do C. Let's do C next. You guys have this? I can scroll down? Yes? Okay. C now. Integrate. Minus 6x plus 22 over x squared minus 10x plus 25 dx. All right, so we know the story here. We'll have to um, factorize the denominator first. And I think this is repeated, isn't it? X minus 5 squared. It's x minus 5 squared. Minus 6x plus 22 dx like that. And we remember the process here, it's going to be uh, something over x minus 5 plus something else over x minus 5 squared dx. We have no choice about what goes here, what goes in this a. one. Has to be an A. There's no choice about it. We, have, we possibly have some choice in the second one. We could choose, we could choose um, B or we could choose BX. Now, we need to pause for a moment and think about which would be the better choice here because it's not like both integrations are uh, the same difficulty. We need to imagine, would this be easier to integrate if there was a b on top or if there was a bx on top? Yes. Now, b. I think b. Because, and this is what I'm thinking, if I was to write this as a b and if I was to use, what would I use to integrate this? A substitution. If I use the substitution x minus 5, what's du dx? 1. So what's dx? Du. du. So this could easily become du and this could easily become u squared. 1 over u squared is quite easy to integrate. Yeah? Yeah, but, but the dx also simplifies. No, no. Does it? Um, does it? It does, but it's not as easy. It also simplifies, but it's not as easy. It's a little, just a little bit harder. 
Just a little bit. Yeah. I don't think this is fine. Um, if I was to put an x here, okay, this would become u squared, and this x would become u plus five. And that's okay. Have u plus five over u squared. You can integrate that u plus five over u squared because you can break that into one over u plus five over u squared. Yeah, well, I said it's a little bit harder because you add in an extra integration. But anyways, Mo, it's not like it's wrong. It's just I'm trying to pick the shortest path. And I do think this would be the shortest path. Yeah? Anyways, our, our first, before we can even do that, we have to get A and B, uh, which now is kind of a side problem. So on the side here, I'll have minus 6x plus 22 over... Well, you know, I think we're happy enough if I just jump straight to uh, after the multiplication step. So if we imagine that this equals this plus this, and we multiply everything by x minus 5 squared, we'll get minus 6x plus 22 equals a times... Mm -hmm. Plus b. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, what would I choose for x first? 5. Five, yeah. Um, so if I put in five, I get minus 30 plus 22 is minus eight, equals B. And what should I choose next for X? Well, let's say zero. So I get 22 equals minus 5A plus B. So that means 30 equals minus 5A. So A is minus six. That's all fine, isn't it? So this integrates, uh, this is an integration of minus 6 over x minus 5 dx um, minus 8 over x minus 5 squared dx like that. Yeah? Is okay? They're both minuses. Yes. And as Amjad will tell you, pluses and minuses are different. Aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. Good. Right. Uh, this integration is A-OK. -okay. Yes? And this integration requires a substitution. What do we say we should substitute here? X U equals X minus 5. OK. Um, will I... I'll, I'll do this one first, so at least it can be done. Um, this would be minus 6 log x minus 5. Is that okay? Using the rule that we had earlier. Okay, and then um, here the substitution. So if u equals x plus 5, x minus 5, du dx equals 1. So du equals... Yeah, so this becomes minus 8 integrate 1 over u squared and dx is also du. du. That's not so bad to integrate because that's minus 6 log x minus 5 minus 8 integrate u minus 2 du. Right, well what does that become? That becomes minus 6 log x minus 5. Uh, increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power. U minus 1, yeah. So that's 8 over U. So last step, uh, what do we say U was? X minus, X minus 5, huh? Okay. 8 over X minus 5 plus C. Okay. Hmm? Say again, sorry? 8 log X minus 5. 8 no, I've, I've already integrated, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Let's look at one that has a tan inverse in it now. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think... What would be good? What would be good? I. Or J. Mm. I or J. How are they different? I or J. I or J. I think. Uh, 
the gel. It looks a little, it looks a little bit harder. Yeah, let's, let's go with J. Okay, so um, can I scroll down? Or do you need a minute? It's okay? Yes? Scroll down? Okay. J. Uh, integrate 21x squared minus 35x <coughs> plus 31 over minus 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 10x minus 15. If you take out your calculators, let's get a start on factorising that cubic. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Jack. Aha. Uh -huh. I picked a good one. Uh, so we know what happens now here. Uh, we only have one factor, x plus 3, uh, and you know that there must be some other factor here, which is a quadratic. How do we get that quadratic? Long division. So I'll give you a minute to try that before I do it, actually. Give, give a, practice your long division. This, this quadratic, uh, sorry, this cubic divided by this constant here. Okay, Ahmed. Ahmed, I'm just going to ask you to leave because you've just been using your phone for too much for this class. So if you don't mind, please, um, you can come into the second class, but you're not participating in the first class. So if you don't mind leaving now, please. Okay, it shouldn't take you too, too long now. We have answers, or we need another minute? We have answers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully we all have the same answer. Um, Mo, do you have an answer? Yeah, what did you get? 5x squared plus 5x. 5x squared plus 5x. Ah, uh, mo, 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 mo. Okay, 5x squared. No, it's minus 5x squared. Minus 5x squared, yeah. Plus 5x. Plus 5x. Plus 5. Minus 5. Minus 5. Are we all, did we all get the minus 5 plus 5 minus 5? Yes. Yeah. Now. If you want, it's not really necessary, but if you want, because the 5 is in common there, you could take the 5 out if you wanted to. You don't have to, but we might as well because it would simplify things a little bit. Um, was this Ahmed? I'm sorry, Amjad. Last class you were talking about common factors or something. Is this what you meant when you were asking me if there was something in common you could take it out or it wasn't this? Remember you were asking me in the last oh, class? When you take, uh, uh, well, when you have... In, in the top and, and the bottom. The yeah. So we don't have a 5 in the top. But I can at least take the 5 out in front. Now, in fact, I think I'll make it a little bit easier and take out the uh, minus 5. Yeah, that's interesting. That's what you meant? That's what you meant. Was, yeah. Take out the minus 5. So minus, uh, minus one-fifth integrate uh, 21x squared minus 35x plus 31 over x plus 3. Now what would I have here? x squared 
minus x plus y. Plus y. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, do they need to come in or? Okay. They're just, they're just looking at me like a fish in a tank here. Uh, okay. Right. Um, we don't really have much choice in how we can split this. It really has to be only this. A over x plus 3. And we have no choice here about this one, do we? What is it? We have no choice. We have no choice. It has to be that. And there's nothing, nothing we can do about it. Okay, so again, uh, rather than just me jumping in doing this, I'll give you a minute to get the ABC here. What method do you think would be best? In fact, I, I, I think there's only one method that would... I think that, yeah, because the first method would be too long, and there's no, you can't cover up here, so it has to be the second method. Okay, you give that a go. I'll give you a minute. If it's possible yeah, to. Th which is what I said to you. I designed it that way, so. Okay, do we have A, B, and C? Uh, one, minute. one minute, okay. Sebi, did you get ABC or are you stuck? Did you get any of them? Uh, 
Okay. I'm just looking for the A, B, and C. Daniel, you got A, B, C? You're stuck? Did you get any of the letters? No? You got A, B, C? Angela, did you get A, B, C? Yes. Yes? Maybe. Should I give you Well, let's, okay, well, no, 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 let's just see if I can match them up anyways. So, um, what we have is that this fraction is equal to this one plus this one. Now, uh, I'm a bit surprised, I'd say about half of you seem to have trouble here, so I'll just write this out in more detail on the right here, so <coughs> perhaps it can be a little bit clearer. So what I'm saying is that that over that Uh, plus 1 is equal to a over x plus 3 plus bx plus c over x squared plus x plus 1. Okay. Now, I'm a little bit squished, so just to save a bit of space, I'll call that guy linear and that guy uh, q for quadratic. Okay. So, if I multiply everything here by the linear, x plus 3, what happens in the first fraction? Cancels that. And cancels. Any cancel in here? No. no. I'll multiply everything by the quadratic. What happens in the first one? Cancels. So now it's not a fraction. Yeah. And the second one? <coughs> Nothing. And the last one? Cancels. cancels. So you end up getting 21x squared minus 35x plus 31 equals a times the quadratic. plus bx plus c times the linear, which is x plus 3. Did I lose a minus? Thank you, thank you. There should be a minus here, is it? Thank you. Okay. Minus there, but for some reason not there. Thank you. Okay. Now, what value of x should we choose first? Minus 3. Minus 3. And the reason for choosing minus 3 is that this piece here will go away. Because minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Okay. So if you sub in minus 3, what you'll get is 21 times minus 3 squared minus 35 times minus 3 plus 31. This whole piece becomes 0. And this becomes a times, what is that, uh, 9 13. minus 3 plus 1. No, plus 3 plus 1. Yeah, 13. Okay, so that's 13a. Uh, and what's this one on the left? What is it? Is that much? Does a end up being something nice, though? 25. 25? Nice. Okay. Now, what should we choose next for x? And why choose 0? Yeah, because zero would make that piece disappear. We already know this piece, so it can give us the C. So we'll get uh, zero, zero, 31 equals 25 times zero, zero, 001. So that's 25. Plus C times 3. So 3C. So 31 minus 25 <coughs> is 6 equals 3C, so C equals 2. All right, we're doing good. We have A and C, so left to find is B. B. And really, you can now sub in any value for B, so we'll use 1. We'll get 21 minus 35 plus 31 equals A, which is 25 times 1 minus 1 plus 1, plus B plus 2 times 4. Uh, cancel, cancel. That's 25 plus 4b plus 8. Uh, what do we get here? 17. 17, is it? For sure? 17 minus 8 is minus 9 minus 34, is it? Minus 32, is it? Minus 32 equals 4b. Is it? No, I don't know. I'm asking you. Minus 9. Ah, okay, 17 minus 25 minus 8 over 4 is B. Yeah. Right, what's that? Minus 4. Minus 4? Yeah. yeah, okay, so that's B. 
Right, so now that we have A, B and C, we can go back. Now I'll just give you a minute to write that down because quite a few of you weren't able to get this, A, B and C. Partial fraction? Yeah. You get minus 4x plus 2 over x squared. But you can't factorize x squared minus x plus 1. So what do you do? That's a good question. <laughs> we'll see in a moment. You can't factorize what? x squared minus x plus 1. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. Complete the search. Perhaps. We'll have to see what we get, though, before we do that. There's something flashing on your phone. Can you turn it off? No, not yours, uh, Amjad's. What is it that's flashing? Notification. <laughs> you know, actually put the phone in your pocket because I, I think then if I don't see it, it won't distract me and won't distract you. It's sitting there flashing its flashlight in my eye. I don't need to know that you have a notification. Okay. Right, do you have that? Yes? Okay. Now, let's go back here. Okay, so we have uh, integrate minus one-fifth of, um, what do we say A was? Okay, so that integration is okay. Uh, what did we get for B and C? Minus 4x. Yeah. Plus 2. Dx. Um... <coughs> We can deal with the first one, so let's just get that out of the way, okay? That's going to be, uh, oh, well, 25 over 5 is 5, minus 5 log x plus 3. Um, I think I'll just take minus 2 out of this, okay? So that would be, now let's not forget that this guy multiplies that and that. So if I take minus 2 out... Minus 2 over minus 5 is just 2 over 5. Yeah. Integrate 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Substitution. Possibly substitution, right? Yeah, but maybe substitution. Maybe substitution here. Because if you were to substitute, what would you choose? Uh, 2x minus 1, I, I would think. Yeah? Is it? Will we see what happens if we choose u equals uh, x squared? I'll just put it on the side here u equals x squared minus x plus 1. What's du dx? So x plus minus minus I think that's, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's okay because you can say dx equals two, du over 2x minus 1, which is actually good because we can get some cancelling. Yeah, so this is 2 fifths integrate 2x minus 1 over u, du over... 2x minus 1. That's good because that cancels. So you're left with minus 5 log x plus 3 plus 2 fifths. And if you integrate 1 over u? Log u. And u is 2x minus 1 plus c. That is our answer. So I didn't pick a, right, a good one. I'll need to do another one because I need to do one that has a tan inverse in it. Okay. So if you can write that one down, we'll do one more. So they, they, ask the first. So they could. They could. <coughs> oh, 
I'll do I. What to do since it doesn't uh, simplify anything? There's nothing to do here, really. There's nothing to do here. I'm sorry, what? There's not much simplifying you can do here. They're not simplifying, they're changing the format. They, you said they can. Oh, only if it's yeah. simplifiable. So yeah. The is oh, sorry, thank you, thank you. Uh, U is not 2x minus 1, it's... X squared. X squared minus X plus 1. Right, let's finish the examples I'm showing you with I. So while I'm writing it down, can you look at I? You might as well factorise the cubic. Let's get the factors there. Can I scroll down? Yeah. yeah. Right, so uh, I'll, I have 6x squared plus 15x plus 45. But I can make 3 out of that, right? So I'm going to start by just taking 3 out on the top. 2x squared plus 5x plus 15. And what are the factors of the cubic? Wait, wait, wait. Before you factorise it, what should you take out on the bottom? Look at I. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Look at the denominator of I. What can I take out? Guys, come on, wake up. What's in common? In I, the denominator. Minus one. I can take minus out. Yeah? Right, now I want you to factorise the cubic with all positives in it. Right, what, what do we have here? How, no, um, they're all plus. It's 3x plus 1, sorry. Okay. Yeah, Are you sure? Yeah, because it's. I, uh, you gave me a factor for minus 1 over 3. Okay. 3x plus 1. Any more factors? No. It's, uh, it's I yeah, so we know the story here, don't we? Long division. Okay. Let's see how quick we can do it. 3x plus 1 divided into... 3x cubed plus 13x squared plus 28x plus 8. Right, what's first? Uh, three, uh, one well, x, squared. x squared. 3x cubed plus x squared. Subtract, you have 12x squared. What's next? 4x. 4x. And here we have 12x squared plus... Uh, 4. 12, 4x. 4x, sorry. 4x. So, sorry, did I do the first one right? Just double checking. Yeah, yes. yeah, I did. Okay. So, what am I left with here? 24x. 24x plus 8. So, that leaves me with 8. eight. Perfect. Because the remainder should be 0. So, that's x squared plus 4x plus 8 dx with my quadratic on the top. And again, we don't really have much choice here. What's the first one going to be? A. A over 3x plus 1. And what's the second one going to be? Yeah. Dx. Okay, I'll give you another chance now. It's just like the last one. Try again to find A, B, and C. That's the side of maths. <laughs> I bet you don't side like that in other subjects, yeah, right? I don't no, I didn't it. think so. It's just this these lessons. Sorry. Yes, I, I know. They do not. <coughs> it's tedious. It's not hard. It's just easy. See how quick you can do it. Is that your version of fun? So 
Say again. In fractions. It could be fractions. Yeah. It could be. Uh, it looks like it is fractions, possibly. Did you get like um, a half or something? Is it or? Got it? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. You got ABC? You got it? <laughs> yeah, well that's why I thought it would be a good final example. It's a little bit messy. I'll leave you one question left to ask me. I don't think you want to use it up then. Hmm? Okay, fair, 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 fair. Um, In the exam, they usually, it's not a rule, they usually make sure the ABC are whole numbers. But it's not like it can't be a fraction. Just if they're going to go to the over the, the, the trouble to design a question, then I think they would also go to the trouble to make sure that the A, B, C are whole numbers. So is it a fraction? You should at least double check. Should at least double check. Like like don't recalculate everything, but just have a quick check. Make sure you didn't make a sign mistake. It's more likely that you made a sign mistake than they made the answer a fraction. Have we got A, B, C? How are we doing? You got A and C. C. Okay. Does B exist? Ah, you did. It's just I wasn't stating the numbers. Your fractions are what? I think people are saying that the answers are working out to be fractions. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're. Oh, interesting. Oh, guys. A is most definitely a fraction. No, it's not. Hey. One of these days, we'll all get the same answer. Do you actually believe that? No. But we can hope. We can hope. I would call it an aspiration. <laughs> something to aim for uh, we are finished over there you have A, B and C and they were all or some were fractions no fractions mm. and Mo you've changed your mind ok well let's see what we got uh, so just tell me what did you get for A Oh good, we have some consensus here on A. Uh, B? Zero? Good, good. And C? Minus one. Mo? Matches up? Amjad? So why were you getting fractions? A sign mistake. Yeah, okay. It's okay now? Are you sure? Uh, I'm not... You didn't get this. I didn't get this. Okay, okay, well, one, one, one person at a time. You didn't get this. Yeah. Did you get any of them? Yeah. Which one? Uh, okay, so that's good. So that just means you probably made a small sign mistake, yeah. Because you got, it was A the first one you got? Yeah, and you, what did you make for X? Probably like minus one over three, was it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So I think you probably just made a calculator mistake. So I, I said B doesn't exist. 
Yeah, B doesn't exist here, yeah. I got C and B, but A, I got if people are getting some of these right but not all of them, it just probably means you made a small <coughs> sign mistake. Okay? Because it, it's, you know. So if you got all three of them wrong, that's a problem. Confusion about B. Yeah. No, okay. Anyways, I'll continue. I'll continue. Sir? Yeah? Can you find out how we can get B? We can't get. I can't get anything. You're not getting zero. No, I'm getting four. Okay, let's double check. You're convinced? Right. Well, first thing uh, we'll just check is, did you have this equation on your second line? Equals A times the quadratic. Yes? Plus BX plus C. Times 3X plus 1. Now, can we agree on A? Yes. Yeah, A is... Two. And can we agree on C or your C is different? Okay, good. So the C is minus one. Minus one. So you differ on what the B is. Uh, so let's imagine, please, that we have A and C. How can we get B? Excellent. By subbing in any value. Let's take one. <clears throat> two plus five plus 15 equals eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen A, which is 26. Uh, uh, B minus one. And this is 4. That's 22 equals 26 plus 4B minus 4. I should stop? Okay. <coughs> right. Uh, let us uh, continue then. So uh, what did we say the A was, please? 2. You don't get the answer. What? Again? Let's see, because then it means my answer's wrong here. Um, I've lost what I was... Okay, plus uh, B we said is zero. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one over X squared plus 4X plus 8 DX. Oh, and just to be clear, sorry, that three is multiplying the whole thing. Right. Let's clean this up a little bit before we continue. Um... Yeah, if I multiply this in, I get minus 6. Minus and then minus 6 over 3, log 3x plus 1. And then minus and minus, plus. plus. So that's 3 integrate 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 8 dx. So this is minus 2 log 3x plus 1, plus 3 times. Now, how do we integrate that? Substitution, but we should do something first. No. It has no factors. Has no factors. So what do we do? Complete the square. Complete the square, good. X plus 2 squared plus 2 squared dx. Yeah? What is minus 6 over 2? Uh, minus, six over two uh, minus 6 over 3 is minus 2. Using the integration rule for log. <coughs> this is right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. It's right. Yeah. Oh. What do we choose for our substitution? X plus 2. Is it X plus 2? No. No, it's not X plus 2. What is it? You left something out. No. U equals, no, X plus 2 over 2. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Square root the first over the second. So U equals a half X plus 1. So what does du dx equal? A half. What does dx equal? 2 du. By the way, I'll need this later. I could change this into 2u equals x plus 2. So what does x plus 2 squared equal? 2u squared. Now that's useful because I can change this into 1 over x plus 2 squared, 4u squared. 2 squared, 
4. dx, 2du. Take 2 out of the common factor. Take 2 out, and also take 4 out. So that would be 6 over 4 when it comes out. So what is this? 1 over u squared plus 1. What does that integrate to? Tan inverse. Minus 2, log, 3x plus 1, plus 3 over 2, tan inverse u. And u is x plus 2 over 2, plus c. Well, it's a good thing we had a one-hour lesson on that trick. Isn't it? And it's a good thing you have uh, a workbook with lots of questions to practice so you can remember this trick. Like on page 150, questions 3 and 4. Have a look. 150, 3, 4. Do you see page 150, question 4, Amjad? Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, uh, there's only one topic left, but again, it gets trickier than this because we'll be integrating uh, improper. The exam is sometimes proper, sometimes improper. Mm. Possibly twice. Yeah, possibly. I know it's great, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So um, the cubic in the denominator you can see on the next page whether we can look at the examples. Uh, okay. So what I do is uh, it'll be too, like I said earlier, it'll be too much to push two lessons of this difficulty into your brain in one class. I can see already it's overflowing. Okay. So. Uh, you can just use the remainder of the time to practice, practice, practice these. Okay, so again, the, each row increases in difficulty. So the easier ones are um, A and K, and then it gets harder as you go down the page. All right? So if you can try these um, for the rest of the class, for half an hour. Can you go or you have a question? Yeah, just step outside then if you Oh, just text, it's fine, yeah. Can I close this? No. You don't have yours? Oh, you guys, you need to. Just give us the pen there for a sec. Yeah. You got that answer? Can you close the chat?